Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they are feeling towards you currently. This could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody that you are with currently. Could be someone in separation, of course. And even a situationship. For a small portion of you, this could also be somebody who you've had a connection with on a very spiritual kind of level. You feel that there's something there, but no one's really speaking up. For those of you who are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do have the ability of channeling through my higher intuitive self to get the answers that I need. At the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. I do not channel through any spirit guides. I never have, and I have certain reasons for that. Boy, oh boy. Peoples, what is going on here? Yikes. The way I read this deck, this is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Um, my method of reading is just, well, my interpretation of these cards is very different. It's not what is in the original book that the deck comes with. Now, there are some cards in this deck that I consider dark in terms of feelings and emotions. They're not happy. And you have uh, quite a few of them here. There's one, two, three, four, five, even six. First card is the strongest. We have here opening, followed by pleasure, sensuality, wild woman, surrender, betrayal, fear, illness, wellness, embracing the shadow, and shape-shifting. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Sagittarius, a lot has happened in this connection. And I have not been as honest, as truthful, and open as I should have been. There were things that I hid from you, deep down, secrets. But now there's a part of me that wants to finally open up to you. A part of me that wants to talk to you and let you know what's going on inside. What are my thoughts? What are my fears? What are those deep secrets, the things that I used to avoid telling you? In this connection, there's no doubt I have felt a lot of pleasure. It has been and it is a very pleasurable connection. The energy of it even. Physically and spiritually, I feel so much bliss. In you, I have found someone who has this way of seducing. Even though you don't have to try, you just have this natural ability. You are very sensual. You're attractive. I find you very sensual and beautiful and handsome. You're just all that, your character, your charm, your charisma. I am enamored by your beauty. The way you, the way you carry yourself, the way you hold a conversation, the way you lock eyes.
but there has been a problem. I understand that in this connection, there has been deceit, deception, sneaky behavior. Yes, I have been sneaky. I thought I could get away with things. And of course, you would be suspicious. I have done things that I'm not really proud of. I've told you a few things, but I've left out details. What you don't know won't hurt you, or will it? By me hiding information, does that mean that I'm lying? I have surrendered to you now. My mind, my heart, my body. I want to follow your ways. Surrender to the way you do things. But things are different right now. Even if I desire this, the underlying problem is that there has been betrayal in this connection. I know this. You know this. It's an experience that one cannot forget. Now there's a lack of trust and a lack of faith. A while ago, I felt that I could be myself and I could have my way, get away with everything, but that didn't happen. Now it seems to you as though I was a stranger, that I am a stranger. And now it seems as if I was a stranger and you never really knew me at all. There's things about me that seem so different. You thought you could predict me. This betrayal, this lack of faith that exists now, I know that this comes from my side. And because of this, I fear, and I feel paranoid. I feel that this connection might not even work out. The feelings that I have now are that I feel unworthy. I feel useless. I don't feel good about what has happened. There is a sense of fear, nervousness, anxiety. Sometimes I even have panic attacks, worried. I used to have confidence, but I lost all of that. Now there are a lot of insecurities and I don't have any self-esteem left. Why is this? Because I betrayed you. Because I became that person that was sneaky, doing things behind the scenes not telling you the truth, not telling you the whole story, which is why I want to open up to you. But is it too late? I also feel that in this connection I have wanted to reach out and be with you the way that you would like me to, but there have been things that have been weighing me down below the surface of this water, grabbing me. Burdens, restrictions, constraints, obstacles, hindrances, all those things that are in my life, people that are in my life. I have responsibilities. The circumstances that I'm in weigh me down. These are some of the reasons why I can't be with you the way that you want me to. And whatever has happened between us, I understand now that the situation is very awkward. The environment now is very uncomfortable. Things are not as they used to be. Things are different now. I do feel that in this connection, there's this situation this understanding that whatever I did, I did because my background was like that. 
embracing the shadow side of me. There's things about me that you just don't know. And unfortunately, when you saw that side of me, it would have definitely made you feel uncomfortable. At times, I can be impulsive, compulsive, aggressive. I can be everything. But it's not good. My circumstances hold me back. My insecurities hold me back. The fact that there is betrayal in this connection, that holds me back. The fact that somebody tried to get away with something and they were sneaky, that holds me back as well. Overall, no matter where I go, no matter what I do, something always happens regarding us both and I end up thinking about you. It is inevitable. It is common. It does happen. For now, I do want to let you know and open up to you about the good feelings that I do have in this connection still. How I feel for you still. How those feelings truly have not changed much. But I know that it was my actions that changed everything. All right. Sagittarius. Very interesting. We have here... We have here a situation where a lot has happened in this connection. The relationship was headed somewhere. <clears throat> but then things changed. Not all of you are going to resonate with this reading. It is a general love reading. But I can say here, because of the intensity of these cards, um, for you, the roles might be reversed. Your person of interest actually uh, may be feeling this, but also you, Sagittarius, you might have also had these feelings and emotions. You may be going through this as well. This may apply to you. Now, the next deck that I'm going to look at is the Lover's Path Tarot. Let's have a look at that one. Here I look into what are the reasons or, well, mostly I take two cards out. Uh, so what are the reasons why this connection didn't work out or why did it go downhill in the first place? Things may have been very sweet, but then things became sour. This deck I do read in the reverse. <clears throat> All right. So this is for those of you that may feel that this person has left and there's a lack of closure. There's um, ghosting involved. Somebody ghosted you. Or this person used to communicate with you a lot, but then now it's hardly communication, maybe once in a while. And so you wonder, are we still together or are we not? These are some reasons why this individual started to take a step back or why they completely cut you off. Either way, it indicates why there is distance and what happened. And this is slightly in the past. So the first set of cards that you just saw, that is the current situation of your person of interest. Sometimes if you don't know who that person is, it could be somebody from your past. And if it is, you may not be interested in that particular part of the reading. Now, strength. <clears throat> Typically, this talks about courage, strength, leadership, confidence. <laughs> Does that remind you of anything? If some of you might remember, I had the fear card. And when I was talking about the fear card, it talks about a lack of confidence. It talks about paranoia, fear, right? Insecurities. And here we have the strength card. 
So you see, that feeling was still there back then, and it's still present now. This person's extremely nervous. This person has a lack of courage, a lack of strength, not really wanting to be a leader because they lack that courage. And they don't want to be a leader, and they cannot be a leader because they lack the confidence. Very similar to the card you had before. Here, this person wanted to transform their weakness into a strength, but there was a lack of integrity. They didn't think they had the strength to do great deeds. They had lost their confidence in their leadership abilities. They started to feel insecure and fearful. And there was a scattering of these energies. There was discord to weaken others. So your person of interest really wasn't feeling strong enough to be somebody that could be in this connection, lead this connection, be a part of this connection. They didn't feel that they could handle this, that they they could do this because they didn't feel well enough in the sense that your level might be here and theirs was here. We have here also the King of Cups. This talks about emotional wisdom, mastery. However, we're reading the reverse. At some point in time, Sagittarius, your person of interest had an issue a problem, where they realized that there was a lack of emotional maturity. Hence, they were immature. There was a lack of wisdom, and there was a lack of integrity. They knew this, they felt it, and upon that, they started acting on it, right? There was a desire to have more control over one's aspirations. They started to fantasize a lot, but the card here suggests that it was time to get back to work. Your person of interest may have been, Sagittarius, quite inconsistent and unreliable. Those two key words, inconsistent and unreliable. However that applies to you, let me know. Was this person inconsistent? How were they inconsistent? What did they do? Were they unreliable? I like to sometimes see that in the comments below if it has resonated and specifically these words that come out because they are very meaningful and sometimes you do and it's just inter interesting to see how one person versus the other person, you guys are going through similar situations, slightly different scenarios, but how is this all related? So please let me know in the comments below if any of that has resonated. All right, let's have a look at... We have here the Beginner's Tarot. Oh, excellent card. Excellent card. The Hermit card, one of the best cards to have. This card here, it talks a lot about thinking things through, right? Knowing what you want, knowing that you've done something wrong, something terrible and contemplating. So this deck, I have a look at to see any plans, any actions, any intentions your person of interest may have towards you. So you got two cards that just came out. I am seeing a lot of young, youthful kind of energy, like immature energy here, uh, simply because you also got the full card plus the cups that you had that was the reverse. So you're dealing with somebody that definitely is not mature in that way. All they, although they want everything in a mature way, they're just not that type that has that type of um, personality, at least not yet. The Hermit card is the first card. First card, the strongest. We have here a situation where in the Hermit card, it talks about how in this connection, your person of interest wants to fix the situation. They know that things could have been better, but things turned out quite differently. And so they're taking a step back now. 
and they're retreating. They are contemplating, they are thinking, putting themselves into isolation, keeping themselves quiet, having the sense of introspection, detaching themselves from the world in order to regain balance. They're quiet. They're not going to talk to you. They're not going to talk to anybody. Because when somebody is in this type of a mindset, they're not going to go out and have much fun. Because it's a huge thing. It's on their mind. It's not a small 25% kind of issue. This is like a 75% kind of issue, which is constantly on their mind. They're thinking about it. First card's the strongest. They really want to get this situation resolved as well. But are they going to communicate with you? Most likely, no. The hermit card here talks about somebody who is literally, they've turned into a hermit, not talking. Then we also have here the two of wands. Really great card to have. Your person of interest has finally taken a step forward and at some point in time after they heal with the hermit they become wiser and then they know what decision to make they have made a decision what decision is that they want to be with you one of the reasons why they want to be with you the queen of wands they find you utterly irresistible so sexy remember you had the sensuality card yes they have a lot of sexual attraction towards you and they feel also that there's a part of you that understands them. They feel that you get them. Nobody else understands them, but you do. This is something that they feel. <clears throat> we also have here the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups here, it does talk about how in this, how in this connection, there's this feeling this understanding that everything that has happened, everything that went downhill, it has happened because of this person's own fault. They were the one, or the, yeah, that, that person was the one that did things in a certain way, and the results of it turned out, so on and so forth. They feel that they are responsible. They know that they are responsible and they are feeling regretful. So here you do have the sense of regret coming from this individual, which is good because it makes them realize that I shouldn't have done this, but I should have done that. And so when an individual realizes this, they try to better themselves. Can I make myself a better person for my Sag? They feel that everything that has happened right now Part of the reason it's happened, it's their fault. They actually feel that. That's a good thing. It's um, it's not good being in that mindset for a long time. However, it is good for you because this person will then realize, this is who I am, this is what I've done, this is what should not have happened. <clears throat> we also have here the Fool card. Your person of interest, keep in mind, and beware, it's a warning, they take action first and think later, and that's a problem. Because of this, your person of interest, yes, is very lively, they're youthful, vibrant. That's great. Um, one of the issues with this card is that it does talk about how impulsive this person is. And with the Embracing the Shadow card that you had on this side earlier, it could actually indicate that your person of interest was very impulsive, very compulsive, because they have a nature of being very youthful in a way, very immature. But that's why they need to get into the hermit mode, to become a tad wiser, if not much. So we have here the Fool card. I would recommend to take it slow with this person. If this person comes back into your life, which I do see here that they are going to come back, but they might be a little reckless. They may, they want you, okay, but they don't know how to have you in a mature kind of sense. Let's just put it that way. And when it comes to wanting to be together, wanting to settle down, you want somebody who is mature, right? Reliable, right? Consistent. You want that. So think about it and take your time and don't rush into it because this is somebody who rushes things, the fool. That's a fool. The fool card here, that one of the issues with this card is also that 
when this person engages in something, when they do something, it may finish as soon as it had started. Because it's just like this fast-paced kind of love or fast-paced kind of connection that's very sensual. And that type of chemistry, you get into a relationship very suddenly. It happens suddenly. And then there's like this cooling off period and either the person ghosts you or eventually you start to connect over time, but that takes a long time. So the all of a sudden type of relationships, on average, I've seen they're not long lasting, where all of a sudden there is sexual chemistry and then you're just sleeping together. It doesn't work like that. If you want something long term, in all of my readings that I've done, if you kind of like hold it off and you kind of get to know each other as a person and not as an object, things work out much better. But the person's feelings and emotions here, they're immature, first of all, and also their way of loving is very kind of the same way. It's like somebody who's young and inexperienced. There's not a lot of depth. Now here we do have cups, but it's only the five of cups, right? So I don't see a whole lot of love per se, but I do see a whole lot of passion and promise the 10 of pentacles. Your person of interest may be working on their life in terms of, um, let, let me make my life better. Let me earn more money. Uh, let me invest. Let me buy a home or something like that. Your person of interest wants something like this with you. So one thing that's good that I'm seeing here is that they do want something tangible with you, but the only issue is, we have that person rushing, they have a lot of passion, and they want to settle down with you. But where is that love part? It's a little less, I'm seeing. But not everybody loves the same way. Everybody has a different way of loving people. It's the strangest phenomenon. But it happens. It's not always roses and flowers and like chocolates and stuff like that. Or buying things like there's always different ways that people express their love and this individual feels that their way of loving is to materialistically provide for you to be there for you but what they really need to do is dig deep down and get into that cups mode where they have a lot of emotions that's what is needed in this connection in order for it to be fulfilling as well as long-lasting all right, let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this one. So I do see this person reaching out to you, Sag, and I would just recommend that you just make sure that you take it easy with this person and do not rush into anything with them. That would be my suggestion. All right, and for some of you, you may have noticed... Um, one of my candles, they extinguished. So that is not an omen. I knew it was about to finish off. So just to let you know, some people, they believe in those things. And sometimes it is true. But right now, that is not applicable. All right, uh, we have here choose a new direction. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. I'm usually, well, always in their energy, so they are bringing you these messages. I did pray over the cards, actually, before I started the reading. Oh, that energy is still there. All right. So that's why it's so intense. Sagittarius, this is a past life connection. You guys are either twin flames, soulmates, uh, karmic partners. You could be different types. I uh, There are more, but the top three I've seen is that 
those are the top three most intense kind of connections that are spiritual and they affect us in the 3D. First card is the strongest here. They are saying here to choose a new direction. So there's certain things that you have been doing where it's been a repetitive pattern or the same method of approach that you have when it comes to this person. So what they're saying here is try a different approach. Try to see if you can do things differently. Because the moment you do that, you will notice that you have this ability to be someone a little different, to get the job done, but not to do it the same way you have always done it. So in order to get a different result, you have to try a different approach. And that's what I'm seeing here. It is important for you to have a different approach. And then finally, your results will be different as well. Choosing a new direction, the route is the same. The destination is always going to be the same. But the way of getting there, the route might change a little bit. There may be different ways of getting there. The road might be closed. So at the end of the day, your fate and destiny mostly does not change. However, the way you're going to get there, that is what you need to change and adjust accordingly. Some of you are not really happy with this person and it's up to you card is here. For me, that is a choice card. So for a small group of you, you may decide, you know what? I've had enough. I can't deal with this person. They are too immature. They're too flaky. They come in and out of my life and I don't want them because it's too much of a headache. It makes me sick. You may wish to move on, and that is perfectly fine. Like it says, choose a new direction. For others of you, you're going to want to stay with this person because you just feel that you've invested a lot already and you feel it's the tail end. And maybe someday, sometime soon, something's going to happen. Something's going to change. There is this hope. For both of you, uh, the groups, it is important to listen to your intuition. You do have this intuitive sense. Your higher intuitive self is going to be talking to you. So listen to it. And yes, listen to your intuition. Um, there's going to be certain things that are going to happen in the next few months or so. And sometimes if you hear that little voice in your head, if you have this gut instinct, go with it, go with the first instinct. Okay. The first the first guess, the first instinct that you have, go with that first. Here we also have reconsider. So reconsider what it is that you are going to say and do in this connection, any type of action, any type of words that you're going to be speaking. Reconsider it. Think about it twice. Don't just rush into it. They're also saying here that there's no need to worry. You may have been worrying about a lot of things. However, they're saying here that there is no need to worry because things are going to work out the way that they're supposed to work out in that time period. We also have here romance. This is a spiritually based romantic connection. So that's why it is a bit more intense for some of you and it hurts a lot. And there's a lot of chemistry. In the near future, there are going to be changes. And what changes I'm seeing here is that the direction may start to change. However, again, it's up to you. Some of you are going to want to make changes and some of you are not. There's two things here. It's talking a lot about choice. Choose a new direction and reconsider. Both of these cards indicate that there's going to be a choice in the near future. So make the right choice for yourself, whatever you feel comfortable with. And try not to make, it sounds bad, try not to make the Try not to be too emotional about it either, but try to use a little bit of logic. Is it practical? Is this reality? Or is just, you know, fast? Is it just fast love, right? We need to make sure that if you want to be in a relationship, it's going to be long lasting. And in order to do that, you have to understand who you are, who this person is. If they've always been reliable, if they are consistent, if they are no longer the fool, if they've gone through that hermit mode and become wiser, those are the things you're going to have to look into when you make these decisions. 
And that's your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situations. Do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. For those of you who are new, um, I do have another channel called Asnoitia Audio. I have some videos on there, uh, relationship related videos uh, and advice. Also, spiritual connections, past life connections that you can read about or rather hear about. And uh, the most recent one I had uploaded, it's been a while now, it's the negative energies. What are negative energies? How to get rid of these things. So do check out my other channel on YouTube. Um, the videos are absolutely free uh, from beginning to end. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be uploading soon as well, something new. All right. You all take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys again. Bye now.